welcome to another Watercolour Wednesday with me, Liz Wright from Liz at Home. Today I'm going to be doing a holiday painting of some baubles. I've sort of tried it out but haven't actually completed a painting. I'm going to be trying to make some little baubles using toilet rolls as a stamping mechanism. So I have with me and I've just noticed I don't I'm going to go and fetch them in a minute now two vessels of water I have three brushes to try one is a Milan round size six one is a Craftamo round size seven and one is a teensy weensy three zero from a detailed brush set I bought it's quite a nice little set I will link it below the video just now. So I'm going to go and fetch my water and then without, oh, and I've got various paints. I've got a mix of some Winsor & Newton professional watercolors in here, various colors just in a palette of my own. I have some various paints, mostly Daniel Smith and more Core, Daniel Smith, Winsor & Newton, all sorts of different paints. And then what I definitely will also be using to decorate, my Ganzai Tambi Starry Colours. So I'm going to just, before I start anything, spray these with some water because they do need about a minute to activate. So just want to put the, I've also got 100% cotton watercolour paint paper which is cut into a sort of five by seven size. It's a half a letter size or a half an A4. So I'm just spraying these and I'll put them aside to activate and I'm going to fetch my water. All right, so I have two vessels of water. I actually have two empty toilet rolls and I've also got some kitchen towel. And I'm going to just do some baubles. I thought I would go for a nice pinky red to start with. So I have my swatch chart here and I think I like number nine, which is quinacridone magenta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, quinacridone magenta. So it's that one, which I've managed to get some other paint sloshed in there, which I want to try and remove. Just with my brush. Funny drops fall off. So I'm just washing my brush and I'm going to just go in there and because I don't want that to mix in with it. All right and now I'm going to wet that and work this paint and then I'm going to spray my red well here with water just to help a bit and mix that up i've got a lot of uh, of this pale shell pink because i was painting flowers with it so that's got some white in it and i don't really want that so i'm going to clean that whole well out There we are, and I've got some more paper towel. The Once you add white to watercolors, you lose the translucency. So I'm mixing, I want a fairly um, concentrated color in here. Add some more water just to get it going. And then, all a little bit squashed here. I'm going to take my loo roll and I'm going to paint around the side with it just to make sure it's all covered and then I'm also going to dip it. You can see this isn't exactly a perfect circle and that's fine. I want it to have sort of organic look. Also dipping it in there and then I'm going to, I thought I would do three, so 
stamp it there. There we are, it's quite a nice circle. And now with my wet brush, I'm just rinsing it and doing that. I'm not putting it on the paper towel. I'm going to go around and try and grab the color while it's still a bit wet. I'm hoping this is going to work. I just want to put my hand on this because I've just put hand cream on. Can't stand the feel of dry hands. And then I'm hoping for it to also all bleed in here. Sorry about the silence. I can't do certain things while I'm talking. It just doesn't work. So I'm going to leave a little bit white there and just allow that to play and I'll soften those edges just now. There we are. It's the first one done. And now so that's a pink one. What shall we do? Pink, a nice turquoisey blue, maybe. Gonna mix that with everything that's here. Some darkness in there as well. This is Windsor Blue, a uh, Windsor and Newton professional watercolors but I'm mixing it with what was in my palette. So getting a little bit of a mix. There we are. Going to take a clean loo roll. Going to go around here with this. It mustn't be too painstaking because it takes too long. And then I'm going to stamp it in the paint, move it around a bit. I don't want them to be in a straight stripe, so I think I'll do this one a little lower. There we are. And this is very wet now. I've got loads of water on here. Thought maybe I needed to be wetter. left a white space there I'll lift some out so that one worked quite nicely so now I'm rinsing my brush in water just water I'm drying it on a paper towel and then I'm going over the area which lifts some of the paint out and repeating the procedure And once more, just want to give a bit of a highlight there. Okie dokes. And shall we do another pinky red or a green? Maybe let's do a kind of a turquoise green so that we're not completely normal, ordinary Christmas colours. So I think, how about this Thalo Turquoise, which is number 19. So this is 16, 17, 18, 19. That's this one. And once again, I'm just going to mix it with the greens here. It's a lovely colour. I 
I love the, this turquoisey colour. It's always been one of my favourites. Just adding a bit more water so it's not too dark. And then I'm going to take the other side of this one and go over it with the brush. And I think the stamping into the into the actual puddle is the best move. I can let that one go up. There we are. This particular loo roll is sort of slightly misshapen. Can I just rinse my brush once again? Don't be afraid to turn your paper if you want to. You're not in primary school, nobody can shout at you. I went to see a musical that one of my old pupils was actually doing the lead in. It was a musical set in Germany. Um, it was written, actually. The story was written in 1890. It's called Spring Awakening. I hear it's on Broadway. And if you're in the States and if you have a teenage child or anything, it's something I would highly recommend you go and see. It's just closed here in Cape Town. It was at Theatre on the Bay. Okay, so I'm going to let these dry. I'm going to just go over this highlight. I don't like what I did. So I'm wetting my brush. I'm drying it off. I just want to make sure it's completely clean. I'm drying it off. So it's really just damp. And I'm going over that to try and soften the edges. Oh, there's still some blue on my brush. Sure. Did not want the blue. Just taking the water out to try and make it Cleaner. I think what I'm going to do is let this completely dry, which it is already, which tells you something about the weather in Cape Town at the moment. It's hot and it's dry. So I've just added some more of that pink. And I'm going to go around this edge here with the dark color. Only doing that with this one. rinsing my brush again because I don't want to make it any darker but I want it all to be uniformly damp. Bringing some pigment into that area. There we are. So I'm going to let that dry and then I shall be back. Well I painted two extra baubles because I decided I wanted more and I think they're going to be hanging down from here. So I wanted to get straight lines and I wasn't quite sure how to do that. I wonder if I do this, it's more or less in the middle. I've activated my gold paint. I can't quite decide whether I'm using the blue gold or the red gold, but I think I'm going with the red gold here. And I'm going to 
try doing a straight line like this. I get quite shaky when I try to do fine things. That works quite well and then I'll use the finer thing later. Oops, see there it goes thick. There we are, not too bad. There we are. Okay, so now we have straight lines in nice gold paint. And now I was thinking of going around the baubles in gold. Or doing some gold sort of dots on them. Just going to do a few little dots here and there. I think I should use a smaller brush for that. And I'm going to go around them with the gold paint also. So I think it will be pretty. I like painting little Christmas things like this and one can use, you could paint just one and use it as a gift tag or you could make it as a Christmas card, as a greetings card if you wanted to. Do you guys still send Christmas cards to each other? in the country you live in. In South Africa, because our postal system doesn't work, we actually don't anymore. Nobody really sends Christmas cards anymore. It's quite sad for something I used to love. I'm using the smaller brush, which very interestingly is making a bigger, <laughs> a bigger um, line than the than the, thin, than the thicker brush. So it's coming towards evening here now and I'm hoping that I'll get this up when it's daytime for you guys for Watercolour Wednesday. I can never... I mentioned early, I mentioned in my previous video that I'm going to be doing a live video with Tonya from Tonya Colours on the 16th of December um, and we're going to chat together and colour together online and answer questions and generally have some fun and I don't know what you call it but California time it would be around 8.30 in the morning and for us in South Africa it will be 6.30 in the evening, so the UK it would be 5.30 in the evening. And I'm afraid I don't know any of the other time differences, but I will put something on my community tab. And now I want to just do, I think, a nice sort of a ribbon with some and a little whatever you call that little thing that the that the bauble hangs from. Has it got a name? If it's got a name, please let me know. There we are. I think that's quite cute. And I'll add some gold splatters. I'm going to do it with this gold here. There we are, I think that helps. I do need to have a baby wipe to clean up all the mess now. But there we have our baubles 
and I hope that you've enjoyed watching. If I'm put, put to put this on a card, I would add a Merry Christmas or Season's Greetings or something statement to it. I would cut it down and then put it onto a card. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you've enjoyed this. Bye now.